Okay, hello and welcome to this video on how to download and install a digital certificate or PFX file onto your Android device. I'm Natasha from the Global Site Marketing Team and uh, just before we get started I thought it was worth noting that we are using the Android uh, OS version 5.2 on Samsung S5. However, nothing much really changes um, in regards to the new OS system that's recently come out, the 6.0. Uh, it's also worth noting that this video is about how to install a PKCS12 or PFX file onto your Android. Um, this is uh, the, sim the process that you will go through when you download uh, a global sign certificate. Uh, it may be slightly different for other CAs, so worth uh, checking out. Um, so this video will contain two parts, how to download the certificate and how to install it onto your device and the trusted credential store. We'll get started with part one. Now, when you purchase a certificate from a CA, they'll send you an email with a link to download your certificate. Very similar to this email here from GlobalSign. Now, if you click on the link here, you'll go to a page on our system website where you will be able to download your, web, uh, download your certificate um, using the pickup password that you were given when you purchased the certificate. So I'm just going to enter mine. Next. Now it asks me to uh, generate my own password. You're prompted to enter 12 characters, only alphanumeric, so no special uh, letters or numbers. Uh, now for this purposes of this demonstration, I'm going to make mine very easy, so please do not uh, copy me on that one. And I agree after having read the subscriber agreement that I'm happy. Uh, so I click next to download the certificate onto my device. And now it asks me to download my certificate. When the certificate uh, is downloaded onto your device, it then prompts you to enter your password. extract the certificate file uh, extracting now it asks me to name my certificate and uh, and say what it's used for so uh, really this is just so that you can see it in your conventional store you can recognize the name so I'll just type in uh, global sign certificate and I'm going to use it for VPN Okay, so now my certificate's installed onto the device. What you should see straight away is the network may be monitored by a third party. Now, just to get rid of this, um, not really sure why Android have such a negative um, warning, but um, I guess what they're trying to do is warn you of any malicious certificates being installed. So that's uh, also a good thing. But just to get rid of it, we will uh, continue with the next step of the installation video, which is how to uh, install the certificate onto your device and uh, put it in your trusted credential store. Um, so now to do this, uh, we'll navigate over to the settings And security. Now select uh, select install from device storage, which is here in this virtual store. And what we'll do is it will take you to uh, any files that have been downloaded onto your phone. So I know straight away in my downloads folder that this is the most recent one. I'll click on this. 
um, and to extract the certificate again it asks for you for your picked up for your uh, password that you created so I'll just type that in again and extract the part extract the certificate and again it asks you for your name so I'll just name it the same uh, as I named it before and use VPN and apps so now that you've actually installed your certificate what you should be able to do is go to the settings and security again and go to your trusted credentials and uh, these are the um, certificates from outside use, but these will be your certificates here in the user section. Um, and you can see straight away that I've got my certificate now installed and all the information is available on uh, this, in this area. Okay, so that's pretty much it. You can manage your certificates here and you can actually un uninstall them as well from here. So uh, this will be your management system. And uh, yeah, if you've got any troubles, please feel free to comment on this video and we'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. So thank you very much. Have a great day. Thank you for watching.